In Xero, creating a credit note is an identical process for both sales and purchases. In this presentation, I'm going to create sales credit notes. And there are actually two ways to create credit notes in Xero. The first is directly from an approved invoice that has a full or part amount still outstanding. So I'm going to go to accounts and sales and into my awaiting payment list. So I am going to open this City Limousines invoice. Now we've agreed with City Limousines that we're going to give them a credit of £100 including VAT against this invoice. So if I go to invoice options in the top right hand corner, I can add a credit note. Now Xero defaults to the full amount that's left to pay on the invoice, but this can be amended. So we've agreed it tax inclusive, VAT inclusive, £100. So I need to change that figure to £100. I just need to put in a date and check it. Oh, didn't take the date. Check everything else is correct and then approve. We default back to the invoice, but now you can see there is a credit note attached and it's changed the amount due. This is a blue link, so I can click on this and go and view the credit note as well. The second way to create a credit note is from the sales dashboard. So next to the new button and the drop down menu, I can create a new credit note. So this is a blank credit note. I don't need to put any negative numbers in. We know it's a credit note. So I'm going to again create a credit note for £100 including VAT and this is for my customer Bayside Club. Again I'll just put a date in. Now Zero takes the next um, credit note number and then we have a free type reference box and we can choose the branding theme that we want to use and we can um, upload any digital documents against this credit note that we want to as well. So I've agreed um, £100 including VAT, so I'm going to change that to, in oops, to inclusive here. Yeah. And I'm just going to put credit agreed, credit with a D, <laughs> if I can spell, credit agreed. And this is one, 100, it's to the sales um, account code including the 20% VAT. We do have a category option set up, a tracking category, but I'm not going to put anything in there. And I shall approve this credit note. Now I do have, in a waiting payment, I do have um, an invoice waiting to be paid from Bayside Club. And so Zero knows this and it's telling me there is an invoice that's waiting to be paid from Bayside Club. Do I want to allocate this invoice, this credit note, sorry, to that invoice? Now, I don't have to, and I don't have to allocate the whole amount of the credit note either, um, but I do want to. So I'm going to say the whole amount, £100 against that invoice, and I can allocate the credit. Now, if there aren't any invoices in the system, that um, are waiting to be paid for the customer that you created the credit note for, you can either choose to create the transaction of sending, uh, sending the money to the customer. Of course, you still need to go into your banking and create that transaction as well. Um, uh, but you, you can leave it in the system and the next time you create an invoice for that customer, Xero will remind you that you have a credit note in the system and ask you if you want to allocate the credit note to that invoice.